Right, here we are, late October. Update on the project. Let's have a quick look at the roadies first. And I don't mean people that set up instruments for famous musicians. I'm talking rhododendrons. Let's go. There's one. This one hasn't flowered yet. Oh, it's a penny rose, by the way. This one has a very nice pink, sort of a vanilla colour. Some tulips still doing their thing. It's a purple one. And a light pink colour. So, anyway, that's the roadies. Well, some of them. Just in this section. Okay, first things first. Here is the outside section of the grapevine. There's some little grapes right there in the centre. And the reason I'm showing that is because. This is how well they do in the greenhouse. This is the other half of exactly the same grapevine, which uh, threads its way through and runs all around the roof area. And you can see the grapes are much more advanced. Everything is. The foliage, the grapes, everything just loves it. Now I guess, well, I don't know if you're in the northern hemisphere, this may be April for your time period, but uh, here's an update on the uh, greenhouse. Everything seems to be coming on quite well. The um, there's some of the tomatoes that were the tiny little seedlings you saw last time, so I've transplanted them and put some capsicums in where they were. What's that? Ah, that is that is Miracle Grow. That old box was in the garage <laughs> around at Barrington Street for a long time. It had been opened and uh, over time it went solid and I found it. And uh, so anyway, I uh, weighed the contents and um, then dissolved it into this container here, which if I dispense 500 ml into the watering can, that's the perfect mix to water everything. Uh, you've seen how it all works, so... Um, Here's the system. Oh, that might be a bit overexposed for a bit. Bit of blue liquid in there. That's because I've been putting some of the uh, Miracle Grow in. I'm very pleased that I constructed it with all of these quick release connections because I've had to, uh, being, being clear of course, the sunlight gets in and, and promotes algal growth. So uh, to stop that contaminating my drippers, I uh, just simply unclip. And clip this one and this one, take the lid off and uh, remove the container, clean it. Um, in each of the containers I put an air hole of course because uh, I want to make it as easy as possible for the air pressure to help or not to restrict the gravity flow of the drip. We've got water restrictions here at the moment as a result of our infrastructure. I'm in Christchurch, New Zealand, and so our infrastructure is quite damaged in the earthquakes we've been having. And uh, so there's water restrictions on, and I don't know how long they'll go on for. So I'm pleased that I've developed this frugal system of watering. Got some strawberries there. So they're the early variety, and I've got a later variety as well. Through to the other section. <coughs> You, you may have been wondering why I have these straps and so on around the place holding the pots. Well, that's because we've had, I don't know, something in the order of 7,000 aftershocks uh, from the earthquakes. Of course, the, the big ones being 7.1 on the Richter scale and 6.3, numerous 5. So, uh, 
And there, of course, is a wooden baton holding those strawberries, just in case. I mean, uh, the number of times I've come in here after an earthquake and or after an aftershock, and you know, pots have been on the ground or whatever. It's, uh, I guess, just a preventative measure to save all of the time that's gone into growing these things. So the lettuces there are doing quite well. The grapevine, of course, comes through this section also. Provides shading in the summer, as well as, of course, absolutely wonderful grapes. But um, I also put a shade cloth over the top just to stop it turning into a mini oven. That's where the tomatoes were. I've planted some capsicums and uh, more capsicums where the tomatoes were. And so here's also some more of the tomatoes doing their thing. Be interesting to see how they turn out. So. That is project update for the greenhouse. Oh, and there's my a work colleague gave me the avocado seed from her lunch. And I don't know if you can make that out, but there's a tiny little embryo type growth happening inside of it. So, uh, I've put toothpicks, four toothpicks in it, just to keep it suspended half out of this water, which I change on a regular basis. Also, that's my measuring device for the uh, miracle grow. Um, yeah, so hopefully that uh, germinates. A couple of cucumbers. A lot of the things are, um, like the cucumbers, really have to wait until the soil temperature gets up to around that 20, uh, well, 20 odd degrees centigrade before they germinate, so well, these things have been a little bit slow in doing their thing, but oh well, it's early days yet. It's not even November, so plenty of time to grow and harvest. There's the mint and some spinach doing extremely well. Hmm. Okay. Catch you later.